leadership, academic excellence, determination, success. These are the qualities we strive to instill in our students at the University of Maine at Presque Isle. For more than a century, we've been helping students find their path to great professional careers, and boy, do they run with what we teach them. But we're not going to tell you about it. We're going to show you. So come on, let's get started. At the National Institute of Health, I got to work side by side with a researcher, and I got to uh, learn techniques for inserting mutations into fish eggs. I went to a body works exhibit in Boston, Massachusetts. After I'd taken my anatomy and physiology, my kinesiology courses, got to actually see bodies in movement, how they work, see all the things we had talked about. The ceramic studio allowed me to borrow equipment, a couple of pottery wheels, and clay to bring to the classroom it made my student teaching experience um, pretty amazing. I'm the editor of the honors program sponsored journal Upcountry. It's online. I'm responsible for going out and finding submissions. I'm going to do my internship next year at um, the Northern Maine Lighthouse, which is a girls group home. Building a website for one of my courses, it was for the uh, Loring Military Heritage Center. Our students get amazing hands-on learning and research experiences. Want a great example? Meet David Rudolph from Ellsworth, Maine, a criminal justice major. His biggest academic achievement so far? The opportunity to actually be accepted and work with uh, the Maine Policy Scholar Program. It's a program that selects one student from each UMaine campus uh, and they look directly at a, a Maine public policy and make recommendations in front of a panel of, of policy makers, legislators, uh, as well as the governor himself. Cincinnati was, was an amazing opportunity as well. Um, Where did you go there? Um, I went there to uh, present my senior thesis uh, at the Academy of Criminal Justice uh, Sciences 45th Annual Conference. It was excellent. I mean, usually the work that's presented at those conferences um, is graduate level work uh, or doctorate level work. I was the only um, undergrad uh, presenting anything at that conference. I think that the university did an amazing job preparing me um, for that presentation. I went to Alaska and did salmon research for Cook Inlet Aquaculture Association. I was basically put in the, the bush for two months of it and did a uh, salmon enumeration and fecundity reports. And have I ever been camping? Yeah, I've been camping. While I was at UMPI, I have gone to the National Institute of Health, um, the NCAA Leadership Conference. Um, I'm going to Humboldt State next year, and this summer I'm doing a lab experience at Mount Desert Island Biological Lab. So UMPI's really given me a lot of opportunities. I went on the geoecology field trip to Quebec City. Wow. Yeah, it was amazing gone to national conferences for physical education. I went to Baltimore as a junior and then this year again I went to Fort Worth, Texas. There wasn't another school in the state that sent people. We sent 19 students this year which was the second most at the conference so and we're competing with Division I schools who have 40,000 people. So, something that not a lot of schools could offer and I really don't think I could have got anywhere else. Our students travel around the world to get one-of-a-kind, amazing athletic and educational experiences. We have no better example of this than Megan Tucson, who's training to be in the 2014 Olympic biathlon team. I'm Megan Tucson, and I'm from Madawaska, Maine, and my major here at UMPI is athletic training. I have been on two Junior World Championships team, and um, last year, uh, biathlon World Junior Championships were held in Martel, Italy, so I traveled to Italy and um, raced the a couple weeks there and it was an awesome amazing experience and just this past year um, I spent about almost a month in um, traveling around Europe being allowed to to um, balance ed my education with my own training and pursuing my goals in biathlon on a daily basis um, takes a lot of commitment on my part but I, I really think it takes a lot from um, my faculty and all my professors. With my major I'm always learning so much and the days just fly by because I'm hands-on in the training room and I'm going to classes and doesn't even feel like I'm in classes. It's, it's just more of it's, it's I found something I really love to do. Right behind me is um, actually my bib from one of the races which I've, I've dedicated to um, the university and to President Zillman for all of the help that they've they've given me along the way and that they continue to support me. The reason why I have so much success in both academics and in, in um, my athletics is that uh, my professors and the faculty and everyone just is so willing and excited to work with me and um, 
yeah, not only are they willing, but they really, they actually try and push me to be the best I can in both areas. My plan is not to change the world, my plan is to change the life for one child. If in my life I can make one child have a family and be happy and not live in abuse and neglect, then that's my goal. With what I've done in my undergraduate career, I have a job lined up, but I also understand that I can do anything I want. I certainly hope to be on the 2014 um, Olympic team. Work towards my master's degree in both sports management and physical education, and from there hopefully move on and be able to be just working at a university, a smaller setting like this, and eventually get to my doctorate. I want to become a marine biologist, so um, work on work with animals and sort of find find cures for problems they may have. I came here wanting to be a state trooper, and now I'm leaving wanting to ultimately become um, a fire marshal, an arson investigator, um, something in that nature. Um, but this degree has, has really been able to have been molded to what I want to do. Our students know exactly where they want to go once they graduate, and they have the experience they need to succeed once they get there. Take Linda Gover, for example. My name is Linda Gover. I'm from Caribou, Maine, and I have two majors. I'm in accounting, and I'm also in business management with a concentration in management information systems. I love my internship. I was so excited to start at DFAST. I started in August of 07, so I've been there almost a year. I was able to go in and learn how to run their computer systems and process invoices, and I've also been able to learn so much that I've actually been able to, to do training sessions to teach other people what I've learned. And I'm looking forward to continuing my career in going into a program that's, um, it goes from a student internship to a Leaders in Motion program. It's a three-year um, management and training type of program where they basically teach you everything you need to do to become a senior executive in the, in the federal government. I'm uh, looking forward to going into some graduate work. I've decided that I'm definitely getting two graduate degrees. I think that the university fosters a really good learning environment. Umpy wants to put out students who are multifaceted, not just creating people to go to work, but well-rounded individuals. Now remember, these are just a few of the amazing student success stories that happen on our campus all the time. So, keep an eye out. Our students are on their way.